We're starting to get some decent DeFi strategies when it comes to Camino and earning a decent yield on our crypto. We'll cover those today. This is the 9th of August. This is your Solana and Crypto Daily Debrief. So firstly, Bitcoin actually jumped up all the way up to 62K. ETH had a little bit of rebound. I don't know exactly what they hit, maybe like 2.7 or something. And Solana is just still building that momentum, trying to get back up to that 180. But Bitcoin, wow, just straight up. We can actually see what it hit. So 62 Point three, 27, Sol went to 162, and a few other tokens just lifting. Whiff has gone up significantly, and also uh, JTO as well. So, what's actually going on? Well, here's some bullish news Putin actually signs up the crypto laws. Haven't verified this because I can't speak Russian or read Russian, whatever. But legalizing cryptocurrency mining from November 1st. So, still a little bit of a, a transition period, of course. And then cross-border settlements and exchange trading in digital currency. This is a country that definitely needs it. So this is going to be crazy. This all, It's all written down here. So this will be linked below. Not a big thread or a big post, but something you may want to check out. Other news, just normal news. BlackRock uh, are buying more Bitcoin. These guys have the money that just will take over everything. You know, they buy houses. You know, they're a for-profit organization. Not exactly the nicest people necessarily in the world, but regardless, the buying Bitcoin price will go up. And then just as a reminder, I mentioned this the other week, but uh, when large investment banks like Morgan Stanley greenlight their 15,000 advisors to sell Bitcoin ETFs, it's only a matter of time before it gets traction. So this is definitely probably going to be the biggest, uh, I guess not the biggest cycle in terms of return on investment, but the biggest cycle in terms of how many new people will, will come in. The Bitcoin bounce has mostly been shorts covering positions in their futures market. So as opposed to just, you know, obviously more people coming in and buying spot, which is, of course, not going to happen. It's essentially just the shorters just having to close shorts or reduce their short because the price is just going up. And as soon as they stop shorting, of course, the price rebounds. Now, if we have a look at the BTC return on investment chart from Benjamin Cohen, we can see this is where we are. We can see market cycle three, market cycle four. So this is 2021. This is 2017. So 2017, of course, the earlier you are, the bigger your return on investment, but still pretty decent here. However, here, we're still where we are. I, I think we still keep on going. Remember, I mentioned a couple of days ago how there is a chance per Kobe. And uh, I think even Ben Cohen actually said that like this could be a 2019 vibe, which means we then go down and then we go up or we go cross. We, we go down. But I just don't see that as happening. I And I don't necessarily think that this is going to just kind of max out at that nice 1,000 days. I think it will actually go longer. Now, the markets, the crash triggered by last week's unemployment payroll, basically there are more unemployed people and then the fact of Bank of Japan, all that sort of stuff, it all comes, it gives a big flush, takes out leverage, and then just everything just starts to jump up again. So this is one reason why I'm going to really try and avoid mentioning leverage. If we're going to use leverage and you think it's very, very safe and it's within what you can comfortably cover, if there's a 50% move down, fine. Not financial advice, but fine. Otherwise, like, just imagine, let's say you shorted here and you shorted, 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 and you didn't close a short. Then, I mean, then you would come out, you would have still been a profit. That would have been okay. But if you, if you started a short and then got out, made a little bit of money and then got down here and then thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to short again. You would have been very quickly out of profit. Like this, like at the end of the cycle, you can just short, you can just short, short, short. And if you do, you'll normally do fine. Right. And, and so many people are shorting. So people make the shorters make a lot of money. And at the beginning of the bull cycle, you can just long and generally you can do fine. You don't long with leverage, but you know, you long and then you're going to do fine. You pay quite a bit in funding though. So that you have to make sure that you're earning more than what you're paying in funding. But in situations like this with everything, they get these hard bounces, not NVIDIA, but you get these hard bounces. They come up and down and then you can be screwed both ways if you just misjudge it. That's why longing, shorting and leverage, it's a bit scary. Now, Alex also says, even though we've kind of rebounded, we should still get that 50 basis points cut in the coming meeting regardless. And that will, of course, prop up the markets even further. Stablecoin update, Tether has just printed more USDT. So up it goes. And FTX and Alameda will repay $12.7 billion to FTX creditors. They still have some rubbish tokens there. I don't know what these tokens are. I'm not calling them all rubbish, but FTT is clearly rubbish. I don't even understand why it has value. Pure speculation that somehow FTX 2.0 will re-emerge and then use the same token, which is just highly unlikely. By the way, I put this out yesterday, so do make sure that you're following me on Twitter and specifically with PYUSD. So if you have got a bit of soul, now... I prefer to stake my soul. Of course, I prefer to stake my soul. Just one reason why 
there's a, a little bit of soul here and not being staked. It's one, it's better in DeFi because it's still earning a bit of an APY, which is great. And two, if you put in Camino uh, Jito Soul, your loan to value ratio is only like 55% as opposed to soul is 75%. So you don't need as much soul here. Now my loan health is like liquidation starts at like 65%. So this is red. I don't have things in the red. This was for a very short term while I was just moving funds around, taking up PYUSD and going from there. Just to be clear, I mean, I've told you this many times, but you need to put on notifications in Camino and then you get a notification to your Telegram and pin that chat to the top. So when you see that, then you can go in. With, in particular, you have to do this with soul. It's called E-Mode. And it means that you can only have in this wallet Sol and then borrow PYUSD or you can have wrapped BTC and borrow PYUSD and there's still a small amount of cap that you can borrow. And you can borrow this at 1.4% when the going rate's probably 10 or more percent. Quite often it's 20%. And then if you want USDC, you just go and swap it for USDC. You basically lose nothing like 0.1%. And as long as it stays lower, it's very profitable. And if you want to, you can put in some Sol, borrow this, and then go and deposit this into another wallet to earn 20%. And then with that 20%, just claim it. Claim it if you want, go and swap into Sol and you're winning. This is a bit of a hack. You just need to make sure that this stays green. Remember, this was only red very briefly, just so that I could withdraw as much as I could. And you can see this all here. There's plenty of things. I mean, community is just shipping, shipping, shipping. But as we can see here, uh, the cap is 23 million and there's 22.77. But if you go in with Sol and PYUSD, Right now, you cannot actually borrow it. It's only for BTC, and they're working on changing the UI because you're only going to know that if you're in Telegram. JLP Multiply is currently offering 282% max. I've got a video on this. I love JLP and I love Multiply. This is a video. I've got a few videos actually on JLP, all on the Jupiter Exchange YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed to that to that one, and it just shows you how how to do it. Uh, basically, you can go and leverage all the way up. And I think this is pretty safe still. You can also use an NX Finance, by the way, but I still prefer to keep in that kind of 2x range. Just it's a little bit more hands off. You don't have to worry about it as much. Jito Sol Vaults on Camino have received a huge incentive increase. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to put funds into. Half a million dollars worth of incentives. It's just That's just throughout August. So come on down. Jito Sol and Sol, Orca, 110,000 JTO. And Jito Sol and Sol Meteora, 27,500 JTO. I would much rather go into Meteora and get those met points. I would stay away from JTO and Jito Sol just due to high and permanent loss factor unless we were pretty confident we would get more returns out of this. And if you had like a decent bag, maybe you want to go, or if you had a smaller bag and you just want to go in with a small amount just to practice a little bit. I don't know what this is with, so we'll have to quickly check. Also, due to some PYUSD, that's pretty decent as well. So let's go have a quick look back here and into liquidity. Hopefully we just have like one tab which shows us everything. There it is. Okay, we can see this here, due to Sol and Sol. If you're noticing that Camino's Website's a little bit slow. I've noticed that as well. I'm not sure why exactly, but I mean, they are the most popular DAP in, in DeFi. So maybe it's just, they're just getting overloaded. So I'm not going to be able to show you them all right now, annoyingly. My internet speeds very decently fast. We'll do one more refresh and then we'll just move on. Okay, either way, go check that out. The other thing, which I can't show you, but I can show you the picture, uh, Y2Kappa from Camino is essentially just showing the loan dashboard. So one fantastic thing is the UI is getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. So you can see exactly all the information so that you don't get liquidated. If you keep this in the green and if you turn on notifications, you should be pretty safe anyway. But if you do want to leverage up into the yellow, then make sure you understand this. Also, the Camino token has bumped up. I mentioned it the other day. It might be good to buy a little bit of Camino. Otherwise, you don't have to buy it. You can just earn it from season three just by using Camino. You're not going to get a crazy reward, so don't expect a crazy reward. But I do think Camino and the price of Camino token will go up, especially as they build out the DAO. Their aim with the DAO is to have like content, tutorials, and relevant things, and I don't know what else, but plenty of other things. They want to. I I think they want to replicate a bit of the Jupiter effect. Now, if you love passive income, of course, check out all these protocols, or I've got a video on Lulo. I already done one months and months ago on Flexland. I've now replaced it with a Lulo video. The latest one that's offering us a huge amount of returns is Sinatra. And I haven't checked it out yet, so you can front run me and go and try. Otherwise, you can just wait uh, maybe until Monday and we'll do one on this. Binance Labs Fund, they've gone ahead and they've invested in Solar Labs. I haven't looked into this properly yet because they DM'd me, I replied back and didn't get another DM. So it's just one of those ongoing 
tasks that I need to go through. Just putting this on your radar though. They also have incentives, 10K and SO incentives over the next month. I was going to show you what that kind of return is on Camino, but Camino is not loading. So in the meantime, check it out yourself. Now, next bit of news, the Bonk Dragon attribute is now claimable at bonkdragon.com. It can be obtained by logging 1 million Bonk in Bonk Rewards powered by T-Dog Foundation for 12 months. So I mentioned this the other day as well. Go and do this if you want. Nothing, of course, is financial advice, but I will personally be doing it. And when it says claimable, you're not actually clicking any claim buttons. You just put in the address and you'll see that it pairs. Also remember, if you are good at content, if you're good at anything, or if you want to get better at these things, make sure you're following Super Team Earn. Now, there's so many, so many people that have gone and done this one, so it's probably not going to worth, be worth it now, but it's worth keeping an eye on these sort of things. $1,500 in returns. There's a lot of people that watch this channel that, you know, $750 would probably be like almost a month's salary if you get first. Now, there's 139 submissions. Most of these are going to be absolutely rubbish, and that's just the way it is. This is how you do it. You read through this, and then you read through this again, and then you go ahead and you find out like if they need it, like if Orca needs to be tagged or something, post your submission to Twitter and tag blah. You go into a Twitter advanced search and you find out everyone that's tagged Orca and you start to go through and see what other people are writing to see, you know, what they're covering and what you need to do in order to, to beat it. And then you've got a couple of options. You either put in more effort, better graphics and more research and more value in order to make the thread potentially win. Or you understand there's already talent there and you don't have the time to do it and you skip it. That way, there's no point. If you want to do it just for the sake of getting better, then that's fine. But you should then go and do another earn that doesn't have 139 submissions. My major point here is check into superteam.fun. There's value to be had and there is benefit in creating content. Greed Academy, only one week remaining to complete lesson one. So completing the lesson by getting the star on the leaderboard will only be available until next Thursday. So seven days. This was yesterday. Six days. Go and do this. Click in here. Go with the wallet that you normally use, active, and read the article, read through, and then you want to go ahead and follow the instructions. I haven't done it yet. It's it's a hefty, hefty thing, but uh, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'd much rather you just learn how to do this. But it looks, after you get down the bottom, it looks like once stake, go to the test here, connect your wallet, enter the newly created stake account address that you can find in the Explorer following the steps above. Pathfinder's Mint. Once again, I'm, I'm not necessarily minting this. I don't have a whitelist or anything like that. But just put it on your radar because it's a new way to use LSTs. And the more soul we have staked, the better. Remember, the inflation on soul is high. That will probably be a point of attack from other blockchains. And there's a video that's come out from some guy that's very bullish on the multiverse, which is ELGD, that token, uh, Multiverse X. And I will do a video on that. But first, LSTs, you want to have your soul staked or in LSTs for the most part, in my opinion, due to the fact that that inflation rate will just eat your gains away. This here, they've now lowered it to two soul. And remember, you can always just reclaim the soul if you don't if you don't like the, the NFT. So I don't know how this is going to work moving forward because it just seems like NFTs are mostly there to raise funds. Of course. Super base, their pre-sale sold out yesterday. They set a blink record for sales while they were at it. There's no information on Super Base. I've messaged Sol Jakey, he replied back, and then I replied back, and then I didn't get anything. So I'm just gonna there's only so much I can do. If they're gonna be super successful without, you know, putting out actually what they're trying to create, great. But I, I don't feel that's valuable. In this part of a cycle, you can't just go straight with hype. Go with hype, go with hype, go with hype, and without offering anything in substance. I want them to do well. I think Soul Jake is great. But uh, if we go to their Twitter, they had like a, a, a link. Link's not there. They did a live stream, lots of views, and they got arre he got arrested by some fake uh, SWAT teams. And then one hour until the website goes live, and then like there's no information. So it's just hard to cover. So in my opinion, if you're going to do an NFT mint, don't do it like that. Be transparent about what you want to actually create and try and get that information out there. Don't expect someone to go through like live stream after live stream. Just put the information there so they can get it. Now, I still hope they do well, but I just can't give you any updates on this information without going through live stream after live stream. So I'm skipping Superbase. If someone is familiar with exactly how it all went down, how many were minted, what they've raised, what their goals are, please put in the comments. This is a reminder here. Just be very mindful of celebrity tokens and political tokens. Donald Trump Jr. came out saying, you know, bullish on crypto, etc. But also they uh, have nothing to do with RTR. Their only official project will be announced directly by us and it'll be fair for everyone. Don't be fooled. So, I mean, it is cool that they're actually creating some sort of project. I don't know how it's going to look. We'll follow it closely. I'll make sure the researchers are always following this daily and probably best if you follow these people as well. Even if you don't like, if you're a blue voter, there will be value in this. 
you, we just need to not jump into anything which is linked to a whole lot of insiders. And that is fake. This is the RTR. In just six hours, it went up, went down. Some insiders put in some heavy money, like 882K into 5 million. They wanted to get in and get out. They did not let this jump up at all. That's a big investment. And here we can see how it is. RTR is a new meme coin created six hours. And then just like that, six hours ago, up down so just be very mindful of these kind of scammers actionables of the day hurry pyusd borrow cap on is almost full you can only borrow against wbtc and remember you have to have btc wbtc in the collateral you can't have that there and usdc and soul and then have been borrowing a bit of eth there needs to be a wallet set up which is wbtc borrowing that pyusd which you can borrow at 1.4 percent if you're bullish on BTC, go and borrow some of this, buy some more BTC. If you think it's going to go up more than 1.4%, you're, you're laughing. This will, of course, increase, but I think it's going to be discounted for a few more months as well. Lock at least 1 million bonk for 12 months with bonk rewards. Remember to use your bonk dragon wallet. Take part in Infinex's path to patron. Deadline's August 16th. Vote with bonk on Miss XYZ. Let me know in the comments if you actually did that. If people are fading these sort of things, it's not worth fading it. That's my honest opinion. Bonk rewards heavily. Airdrop actionables deposit into Camino's Judo Soul and Soul Meteor pool, or any of the pools that interest you, depending on if they've got a decent APR. If the APR starts to dip down too low, then stay away from it. I still want to update everyone on like my INF and Sanctum uh, LP position, but Camino is not loading today. Deposit USDE in Camino or the SUSDE and Sats. Same with Drift. Also, Magic Eden's coming soon for NFT traders. I'm staying away from that. Just NFTs are really hard, and of course staking bonk with bonkrewards.com put in that 1 million bonk for 12 months and you start to build your bonk dragon and that's all for the actionables remember i'm putting out plenty of other videos on multiple subjects i've got another video out on lulo go check that out also i've got a video on slippage with your soul flare make sure you understand slippage and i'll be putting out more stuff as well